What we do is we tune or adjust trigger level parameters of a seismic signal detector so that we get higher quality detections over an entire network. And we do that leveraging the, the consensus of a neighborhood of sensors. And we've had good success with that and show um, fewer false detections and, and fewer missed detections as well, compared against if we just use fixed parameters. So a neighborhood is a small subset that, that all have a similar view of the world or a similar sensing footprint, and so they should agree on everything they see. And if they don't, then we're able to determine maybe which sensor needs to be tuned so that we get better agreement in the future. And that leads to better overall network detection quality. With better signal detections, that then results in better event detection, fewer missed events, in this case seismic events, for example nuclear explosions, we don't ever want to miss one of those. It results in fewer false seismic events. At every time step in this process, we lower the trigger level, the particular parameter we're adjusting, for every sensor. And what we want to do is, is drive the threshold down as low as we can, so we're as sensitive as possible, but we don't want to uh, have any false detections. So we drive it down to just above the noise floor is what we're after. And then when a single sensor or a minority of sensors gets a false detection or a detection that the majority does not get, then, then we bump the trigger level back up. And so we sort of hover over the noise floor and we main, we're able to maintain that. And then as the noise floor changes, we're able to adapt to that noise floor. I'm very pleased with the, the, the quantitative result that we're able to achieve. I believe it's 18% fewer false detections and 11% fewer missed. And the other thing that's exciting about it is that it's, it's a general purpose idea. It doesn't have to, to just be seismic data. Any, really any kind of monitoring where you have a collection or a network of sensors. Uh, very rewarding to see it actually work in the end and so that's really what I'm I, I sort of care about um, developing algorithms uh, that work and I hope that we see this having an impact it's ready to go we do have software open source software in, in Python and we hope that, that people will take advantage of that